The Detroit Lions are doing their diligence on plenty of fronts heading into the NFL draft, and quite possibly, they conducted one of the most interesting interviews of the period over the weekend when they met with electric quarterback prospect Kyler Murray. According to Peter King of NBC Sports, the Lions were one of ten teams to meet with Murray in Indianapolis. Here's a look at what he wrote in his Football Morning in America piece with the Intel. Murray met with ten teams in Indianapolis, but I wouldn't read a lot into that. The usual suspects were among the ten teams, Arizona, Oakland, the Giants, Jacksonville, Miami and Washington. But he also met with Detroit, Seattle and the Chargers. Detroit, hmm. Seattle, probably just fact-finding. I'm not sure of the 10th team. But as I said, don't read too much into that, how much should Lions fans read into it? Probably not much as King writes, but it's interesting to be assured. Murray won the Heisman Trophy and put together an amazing season for Oklahoma in the Big 12, but his size makes him a polarizing choice. Murray didn't do anything at the event but weigh in and meet with teams, so whether it's diligence or not, the Lions did at least meet with Murray, which means they were on some type of fact-finding mission. Drafting him, though, might mean Detroit giving up on Matthew Stafford at some point, even though that point doesn't seem like it will be right now, and that's even the case despite last season. Murray himself might not even last until pick number 8 given he could go safely within the top 5, if not the top overall pick. 2018 was a rough year for Stafford statistically and otherwise, but clearly, he remains popular as the leader of the Lions. That still hasn't helped him escape the criticism that comes with playing quarterback in the league, even in spite of his relative popularity with the football craving masses. Many in Detroit think he should go, while others think he should stay. For those who aren't Stafford fans, the Lions seem to be intent on keeping their quarterback if Bob Quinn is to be believed, even if the comments about drafting a quarterback are taken at face value. In January, Quinn said Stafford was the team's quarterback, but he has also said he wouldn't discount taking someone with the eighth pick. This season, former quarterback turned analyst and boomer Esiason blasted Stafford for showing a lack of emotion on the field and not leading the team in the right way. After that, Rich Gannon called him overpaid. It seems there are no shortage of opinions about who Stafford is and what he needs to be for the Lions to win, and that's coming from both the media and former quarterbacks themselves. Indeed, Stafford struggled this season in a major way, and that led many to say the team should move on, but that's probably not going to be the case, as the team has all but said in recent weeks. The Detroit Lions are pushing into the offseason. Stay up to date with everything, take 5 seconds to sign up for our free Lions newsletter now this season, the Lions hope those improvements to the team's run game as well as offensive line will help tip the scales as it relates to the quarterback finding more consistency and bigger wins in the future. By adding Frank Ragnow, Carrion Johnson and LeGarrette Blunt this past offseason, the expectation was Lions have did enough to improve some of their biggest weaknesses around the quarterback. Perhaps the biggest argument has been that the Lions have not had health up front, either. With that in the rearview mirror from 2017, it was go time for the team to get better in some key spots, and the team did improve at least a little bit in those ways despite their tough 6-10 finish with hope for the future. Combined with the hiring of Daryl Bevel as offensive coordinator, that could only be more obvious for the future. The team still seems likely to keep building around Stafford, but at the very least, they sat down with Murray. We simply have to see what it means in the end.